Hey Libra, rising storm here. So I'm about to be doing your general love reading for now until the ending of December. Keep in mind that these are general readings. So it applies. Feel free to switch storylines however you like, right? So I'm going to be looking to you overview your energies. Um, Libra, the person that you're dealing with, right? Why is it all happening in the possible outcome for now until the ending of December 2023? What is going on here with Libra and the person that Libra is dealing with? You may be dealing with the Gemini, okay, for some of you. The overall view is, what is this? The two of pentacles. Um, we could be dealing with the earth sign here. We'll see what this is about. You got the ace of pentacles in reverse and the lovers. You got the world in reverse and the empress in reverse. Why is all happening in the six of cups? You could be dealing with the Taurus or Libra. I got Sagittarius, Gemini here too. Um, what is this two of pentacles about? What is this Two of Pentacles about for the overall view? Show me, please. Yeah, somebody here is going back and forth about clearing the air. Or there's definitely this back and forth energy here in regards to clearing the air or in regards to kind of like reconciling something here with the Five of Swords and reversing the Two of Pentacles. It's like there's this energy of going back and forth or trying to balance something out in regards to possibly reconciliation or clearing of the air somehow, some way. You got the Ace of Pentacles in reverse here. So there's definitely something here not really taking off right now between you and the person that you're dealing with. Or at least this is the energy. What is this the Ace of Pentacles in reverse? What's the Ace of Pentacles in reverse? <sighs> you're not budging towards this person. You're not taking any action or initiatives when it comes to this person here at all. Okay, the emperor is in reverse, so you're not really taking control of the situation. Um, there's a lack of a new start. You're not really trying to go for a new start with this person right now. If anything, you're just kind of like not really uh, taking control of the situation. You're not budging when it comes to having a new beginning. It's kind of like you're not doing anything about it, but you do feel this intense connection with this person with the lover's card there. So there could, this could be kind of like a twin flame type of thing. Um, show me the lover's card. Show me the lover's card. What is this lover's about? What's the lover's here? Yeah, I feel like you have a deep, you, you, even though a part of you is not chasing after this person or taking initiatives or even action when it comes to even having some sort of new beginning or a new start with them, I feel like deep down you feel the soulmate connection with them and it's kind of like you have deep feelings for this person it's like you want to come in with your offer towards them but um you're not doing that here with that emperor in reverse today so pentacles in reverse here uh we'll see what's going on the person that you're dealing with Libra, has the world in reverse what is this world in reverse about show me the world in reverse it could be dealing with the sagittarius the devil card Capricorn energy? What is this devil about? What's the devil here for? What is this devil about? I think this person... You know... You could be done with the Capricorn. doesn't have to be. But they strongly feel like there's... Like unfinished business between the two of you. It's almost as if it could be a little bit of an obsession here uh, in regards to you, in regards to coming out of the cold with you, or in regards to possibly talking to you or having something to do with you here. So uh, I think that right now you guys are not in communication or you guys are not talking, but there's definitely this strong feeling that you guys have for the both of you guys, but it's not being expressed. Um... I think on some level, this is someone who wants to come out of the cold. They want to communicate with you. They feel like there's unfinished business, but I, they, you know, I feel like this is someone who obsesses about it or they overthink this. They, you know, they, they're very much constantly thinking about this unfinished business, constantly thinking about coming towards you. And it's becoming a little bit of a kind of like obsession. Uh, you got the Empress in reverse. They have the Empress in reverse. I'm sorry. What is this Empress and Reverse about? Show me the Empress and Reverse. Clarify the Empress and Reverse. Why? Uh, the Empress is in Reverse. That's a lack of growth or expansion here. But they're not fighting for this. 
So it's kind of like both of you guys are not really fighting for this connection at all. The Empress in reverse, that's a lack of growth, expansion, right? No, um, not really growing things. The Nine of Wands is in reverse. So that's definitely an energy of kind of like not really fighting for this. All right. So they're in this energy of kind of like feeling like this is not done between the two of you. They want to come out. There's a little bit of obsession that is tied to this. But at the same time, they're not really um, doing much about it. Uh, that person is in reverse. The Nine of Wands is in reverse here. Why it's all happening? The Six of Cups. I definitely do feel like this could be a really strong soulmate connection that you have with this person. Possibly. This could be someone from the past as well. But there's definitely a strong connection that you have, both of you guys, towards one another. What is this? Clarify the Six of Cups. What is the Six of Cups about? What is the Six of Cups about? What is that? Why it's all happening? Yeah. The two Six of Cups and the Two of Swords. So this is why it's all happening. Like you guys thinking about one another, but no one's really making decisions. No one's really making, you know, that step to get closer. Okay. The Two of Swords, that's indecision. Somebody here may be in two minds about this connection as well. Uh, Libra, how do you see this person? How does Libra see the person that they're dealing with here? How does Libra see the person that they're dealing with? What can you tell me? How does Libra... I'm trying to get the right shuffle. How is Libra seeing this person that they're dealing with here? How is Libra seeing this person that they're dealing with? Page of Wands in reverse. Why the Page of Wands in reverse? Why the Page of Wands in reverse? So you see this person as someone who's just not taking any action towards you. You see this person as someone who's not trying to spark anything up towards this connection. You see this person as someone who's just not rushing towards you. Someone who's not really making that decision to come towards you to communicate or spark anything up here. So basically there's no action. There's no movement. Nothing. And I think both you guys could be kind of in a way mirroring one another in regards to a lack of action or a lack of really taking the initiative to really do something. Um, give me the person that Libra is dealing with. How are they seeing Libra at this time? How are they seeing Libra at this time right now? The Fool card? Why the Fool? Why the Fool? They see you as someone... Um, I don't know if they see you as someone who would like to be friends with them or come together with them somehow to have some sort of new beginning. Um, I don't know if they see you as someone that would like to have some sort of fresh start or some sort of fresh new beginning or to come together or work on this or at least be cordial or be friends with one another. They see you as someone that they want to have a new beginning or a new start with too. They see you as someone that they would like to have some sort of new beginning or to come or have some sort of friendship here. Uh, Three of Pentacles, the Fool card, Aries energy for some of you. So it's like this is someone who sees you as someone who wants to come together, be friends, have some sort of new beginning, get together, right? So I think that this is someone who maybe at some point in time knows that maybe at one point in time you, Libra, would would kind of like wanted to be friends with this person or come together. But with the person that you're dealing with, Libra, I definitely do see that this is someone who would, they see you as someone they would like to have a new beginning with or get closer or be friends, right? Get to know. Um, what are Libra's next actions when it comes to this person? What are Libra's next actions when it comes to this person? What can you tell me here? What are Libra's next actions? The two of wands in reverse. Why the two of wands in reverse? For And the star in reverse. I don't see much action. If anything, you're not making any decision, any action to go towards them. In fact, this is, you're kind of being discouraged or you're feeling discouraged with the star in reverse. <coughs> <clears throat> there's definitely this energy of no movement you kind of like making decision not to make any moves towards them but doing so makes you kind of feeling like you're losing hope and faith in it or you're kind of getting discouraged uh the fact that nothing really is getting off because you do have deep feelings for this person 
but you're not going to go out of your way. I don't see that. So give me the person that Libra is dealing with. What are their next actions towards Libra, if not yet already? What are their next actions towards Libra, if not yet already, please? The five of wands. Why the five of wands here? Why is this? The sun in reverse. I don't know if this is someone who's been dealing with another with something else here. Okay, there could have been something. I think that this is... Ooh, wait a minute. What is this five of wands about? Show me the five of wands. What is this five of wands? This person struggles here. I feel like they strongly want to talk to you or tell you the truth in regards to a situation. And they feel really unhappy about it. They have to, it's like they fighting against it or there's there's inner struggle here in regards to this person taking ne next actions towards you. And this is making them kind of unhappy about it. Um, Show me this devil card. Show me the devil. Clarify the devil. Clarify the devil. The Eight of Pentacles, they want to work on this. This is someone who definitely wants to put the energy and time into this connection with you. They find you very attractive, okay? Um, the Ace of Cups, they see you as a new beginning. And if there's, a, again, there's a level of obsession they do have for you. But right now, they seem to kind of be going through their own struggle with the Five of Wands and the Sun in reverse that's preventing them from actually taking any initiatives right now. Show me the sun in reverse. You could be dealing with the Leo. Show me the sun in reverse. Show me the sun in reverse here. Why is that? The ace of cups again. What is the sun in reverse? They have a hard time moving from you, I'm telling you. But they're not making that decision. The judgment is in reverse. They're not making this decision to come towards you. It's like they're they're choo they're making a decision not to come towards you, even though they want to. And this is causing friction in their own energy here with the five of wands, and it's making them unhappy here. I don't know if there's a lot of drama surrounding this person. All right, the person that you're dealing with, uh, Libra. But anyway. What are your intentions, Libra? What are your intentions when it comes to this person? What are Libra's intentions when it comes to this person? What are Libra's intentions when it comes to this person? The strength card. Clarify the strength. What is the strength card? Your intentions is to hold back from even revealing anything towards them. Could be done with the Pisces, but your intentions is to hold back. It's kind of like you're mirroring this person. Like you want this person, you have deep feelings for them. They obviously have feelings for you, but it's like both of you guys are not doing anything about it. And it's like, well, you're mirroring this person because they're not doing anything about it. So you're kind of holding back and doing the same, even though you kind of want to, but you're holding back in regards to revealing coming out of a period of no communication or silence, whatever the case may be. Give me the person that Libra is dealing with. What are their intentions with Libra? What can you tell me? What are, can you tell me? What are their intentions when it comes to Libra? Queen of Cups. Why the Queen of Cups? Why? The Magician. Their intentions is to work on this. They want to make this happen. I don't know what this, what this drama is all about. <coughs> There's like a whole bunch of drama with this person with the five of wands that's preventing them from actually coming towards you and it's making them unhappy. But in reality, this is someone who intends to maybe express some sort of feelings, maybe show you that they like you. Uh, the magician to the queen of cups is here. So their, their intentions is to make this happen or make this work here. They want, they want this to come together. Okay, so what's the possible outcome here for now until the ending of December? What's the possible outcome here? What's the possible outcome for this situation? What's the possible outcome for now until the ending of December? <coughs> Knight of Pentacles. This is like a really slow ass moving connection. This is like so slow. What's the possible outcome here? The Ace of Cups. What's the possible outcome for now until the ending of December? For now until the ending of December. Six of Wands. Why is all this happening? Why? Why? 
Eight of Wands. Well, show me the Knight of Pentacles. What is this Knight of Pentacles here for? And first, I want for I just keep anyway. For some of you, the person that you're dealing with, Libra, they may be dealing with something that's unhealthy or something that's toxic that's preventing them from coming towards you. Okay, I just had to put it out there because that Devil card and the Five of Wands was telling me something. Could be the reason why they're not coming towards you the way you want them to. Show me the Knight of Pentacles. What is this Knight of Pentacles? Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for me, please. The Six of Pentacles. So I definitely do feel like this is a situation where it's going to take a lot of time, if not yet already. Okay, so I definitely do feel like there's already been a lot of time that's been kind of wasted or a lot of time that has already been passed. Um, and... I definitely do see for the possible outcome for now until the ending of December that there's going to be some sort of communication or some sort of equal give and take that's slowly coming. <laughs> so there's a slow but steady communication that's happening here. There, there, the Knight of Pentacles, that's slow, but he usually comes in serious, right? So the Knight of Pentacles, that's slow and steady. So I see some sort of progress here slowly in regards to an equal give and take between the two of you or in regards to giving and receiving here. There's some sort of interaction that's slowly throughout time going to happen. You got the Ace of Cups here. Clarify the Ace of Cups. What is this Ace of Cups? There's definitely, I feel like this could be a new connection or something new here. What is this Ace of Cups? And the Seven of Swords. I feel like there's definitely this energy here. Show me the Seven of Swords. Show me the Seven of Swords. Yeah. And the King of Cups. I feel like you guys may be kind of like a counterpart or whatever King and Queen of Cups here is here. But anyway, this person is going to try to find their way strategically to have a new beginning with you. It's like it's like this is someone who's been watching you or they've been keeping tabs on you somehow, some way, but they haven't really been saying anything. And it's kind of like this is somebody here who's strategically going to aim for a possible new beginning. Because the Seven of Swords, because I did say in the beginning that this is someone who's dealing with something that's problematic or... Uh, seems to be a little bit of toxic energy and it's kind of like this person wants to sneak away from that to have something new so I definitely do feel like this person is going to be strategically trying to figure out, figure out how to have this new beginning with you okay but I feel like this is going to be like a very slow processing type of energy here six of wands is here as well what is the six of wands What's the Six of Wands? What's the Six of Wands? Yeah, and the Seven of Pentacles. I, like, again, I do feel like this is a lot of time-consuming energy, but eventually I definitely do feel like there's a lot more recognition, a lot more attention that's, go that's going to be given towards you. Okay, there's this energy of investment. Okay, whatever it is that you're waiting for with that Six of Wands there is going to pay off. So whatever it is that you're waiting for with the Knight of Pentacles, it's going to come. It's going to show up. I do see communication happening. Uh, I do feel like this is going to be a very slow process or a very slow moving energy. I don't know if this is someone that you've been keeping tabs on or they've been watching you from afar as well with that Page of Swords in reverse. But there's definitely some sort of change happening. What is this Eight of Wands? What's the Eight of Wands here? <sighs> yeah, and the Hermit in reverse. Look, the Two of Cups. I definitely do feel like there's a strong soulmate connection that you have with this person. And eventually they're going to be coming out of the period of hermit mode or a period of no communication to be in communication with that eight of wands there. Okay. I feel like there's definitely, I do feel like this person throughout time will definitely be coming out of a period of no communication to actually put the, the work and energy into it. Because genuinely, I do feel like they want to have a relationship with you or both of you guys want to have this relationship, but I feel like it's been like a long time coming. So that's what I'm getting. If it resonated, please like, share, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Let me know. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully I will see you on the next one. Bye. God bless everybody.